एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम so when we have been given a double integral and when we are integrating with respect to one variable first and then with respect to another variable in case of a non rectangular region that sometimes we find it very very difficult to in to integrate with respect to that variable so in that case we need to change the order of integration so welcome in this video where we will be covering this topic change of order of integration Hi I'm Dr Neelam welcome to S Chand Academy so today we are going to discuss the change of order of integration which is extremely important uh, integrating a function in double integral as well as in triple integral so first we will take about the change of order of integration in double integral if you would like to read this topic in detail please refer to the book from S Chand publishing details of which is given here link is a link of the ebook is given in the description box so sometimes the curve boundary is given in such a way that it becomes difficult with uh, to integrate it with respect to one variable so in that case we need to change interchange the variable and then we can decide the boundary uh, lower limit and upper limit of the variables and then we can integrate it quite easily with the help of the changed order of integration so uh, we need to write this change of order of integration so change of uh, first of all let us understand uh, though we have discussed in our previous video but let me again tell you that what do you mean by change of order of integration so suppose we need to integrate this fxy over this function uh, over this region of integration r and here are the variables with respect to which we need to integrate so this tells us the the order of integration so according to the standard notation here we need to integrate this function with respect to x first and then with respect to y and if we write them f x y so if we write them like this then it it should be understood that we need to integrate this f x y with respect to y first and then with respect to x so this procedure is called as change of order of integration now it is very much required when we have as i said earlier that uh, when we have a non rectangular region of integration then it is very very helpful so first uh, let me take one example so first let me take one example for uh, where we will change the order of integration and we will integrate the same function over the uh, over that region and we will see that we are going to get the same results so we will compute this integration i this is 4x plus 2 so let us say that the function given as fxy has been given as 4x plus 2 and this is the region of integration so let us say that region of integration has been given as now y has been given as from x to x square so this is the lower boundary and this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit and uh, for x x is moving from 0 to 2 so first we need to sketch the region of integration so first we will sketch the region of integration so for that we need to take this curved boundary first so y equal to x line so y equal to x line is this and this this curve is y equal to x square so y equal to x square is this curve and since we are given the limits for x as from 0 to 2 so it tells us that we are dealing in the first quadrant only so this is the x equal to 2 so if we get this point so this point is the x equal to 2 line so this is x equal to 2 so this becomes our region of integration right this becomes our region of integration now so according to this we need to integrate with respect to y first because the limits for y has been given in terms of the function for x and limit of x have been given as constant so this i would should have been written as this is 4x plus 2 
and limit for y as from x to x square and then limit for x from 0 to 2 and it should be written as dy dx. Now, let us say that we would like to change the order of integration that is we would like to integrate with respect to x first and then with respect to y. Please try to understand that we cannot just interchange the limits and we can say that you know this, this should be the limits for x and it should be written in the inner integration and the limit for y is written in the as outer integration. No, that is not allowed. Because see, uh, you can uh, go to the basic of integration. This is a definite integral. Therefore, the final answer should be constant. So, if we will change these limits in this form itself, that is 0 to 2 and x to x square, then outer limit are given in terms of x. So, final answer will be in terms of x. So, that is not at all. Uh, the uh, that, that will be conflicting with the basic of the definite integral. So, that is why we need to rewrite the same region of integration where limit of x will be written in terms of y and limit of y will be treated as constant. So, from this region of integration, we need to find out that how to write the limit of x in terms of y. So, for that I have one uh, uh, method which is called as strip method. So, which is very very important and you will find it very very uh, helpful in calculating this uh, limit for this region such region of integration. So first I will explain the method and then we will integrate uh, this thing with the help of that. I am going to tell you the method which is called a strip method. It is, it is not explained in many books so you can please look at this carefully. Suppose this is the curved boundary which is given as region of integration R. Now, for this one, let, let us say that this is the x equal to a, that is lower limit for x and this is x equal to b. And this let me say that y is g1x and this is y equal to g2x. So that's how this re whole region of integration is being covered. Now we let us divide this whole region of integration into these rectangular strips. So, that's how we do. Now, let us select only one element. Let us select this element. Okay. Now, if this element moves from the lowest end to the upper uh, to the uppermost end, then it will cover this region from y equal to g1x to g2x. That is, it, it starts moving from here, then here, and then here and then it goes till this one. So, uh, it is it is not necessary that it, we should select the uh, element here itself. We can select the element in anywhere in this region of integration given. So, that is how it will form a strip like this. Now, this whole strip will move from lowest uh, uh, lower limit for x which is given as x equal to a to the upper limit for x which is given for x equal to b. So, the strip is moving from this end till this end so that it covers the entire region of integration and that is how the, the limits for x and y can be devised. Now, there, there are few rules which we must follow. When we are finding out the limits for y, we need to see the uh, bottom, we, we go from bottom to top for, for y, we go from bottom to top and for x, we go from left to right to find out the lower limit and the upper limit. So, this will be the lower limit for y and this will be the upper limit for y. This will be the lower limit for x and this will be the upper limit for x. One more thing which we need to memorize is that the wherever the ends of this strip gets changed, we need to divide the region of integration. That is, suppose in this one you can see that the lower end and upper end are maintaining on the same curves that is g1x and g2x respectively but suppose they do get changed let me draw a different boundary different region of integration now now let me uh, draw a region of integration like this and it is this right 
And now, if we form a strip like this, parallel to x-axis, then till this point, if I draw, divide this into this portion. Now, till this point, the lower end of the strip was uh, relying on, uh, or was lying on this parabola, and upper end was also lying on the parabola. But as soon as it crosses this point, the lower end, uh, lower end of the strip is lying on this line. That is y equal to x plus 2, let us say, if this is y equal to 2. So, uh, lower end is lying on this line and upper end is lying on this parabola. So, it is a clear indication that this whole region of integration needs to be divided into two region of integration. So, it, this should be R1. So, R1 is this and this should be R2 this should be R2. So, this is uh, with, the, with this strip method, it becomes very, very easy to come to know whenever your region of integration needs to be divided into more than one part. So, the strip method is very useful in such cases and it is extremely helpful in finding out the limit of the x and y. Okay. So, with the help of this, we will find out the limits for the, the previous question. Okay, so in this one, uh, when we were, uh, one more thing we can uh, see that when we were forming the uh, strip, when we were integrating it with respect to y, so the strip needs to be formed parallel to y axis. So here, since we were uh, integrating with respect to y, so here also if we do this, if we go by strip method, we need to go by this like this. So, the strip method is being formed parallel to y axis. So, the lower end is lying on this uh, y equal to x square. So, it should be from x square to x. From x square to x and the uh, leftmost end of the strip is lying on this x equal to 0 line and rightmost in, uh, portion is lying on this x equal to 2 line. So, that is how it is covering the whole region of integration. So, now, what we need to do is we need to change the order of integration. So instead of this y, we need to write x and we would like to have the limits for x in terms of y. So we need to form a strip parallel to x axis. So the lower end of the strip is lying on this line y equal to x and upper end is lying on this line of on the parabola. So the uh, limit for limit for integration for this r can be written as x for x it is now when we are writing down the limit for x, they should be in uh, they should be written as a function of y. So uh, when we will write this line as function of y, this that will be taken as because it is a line y equal to x. So x will be taken from y. Then it is going to the till the parabola. So y equal to x square. So y equal to x square. So, if we take, uh, if we get the limit for x, so it will be x equal to plus minus under root y. And since we are working in the first quadrant, therefore, we need to take only the positive value of y. So, that is, that is how it will be taken as under root y. Now, for uh, y is moving uh, from what point to what point? For that, we need to know this intersection point. So, this intersection point is 1 and 2. So, then y is moving from 1, 0 to 1. So, that is how we will change the order of integration and that is how the limit will be written. So, for x they are written in terms of y and for y they are written in terms of uh, as a constant. So, that is how we will be writing down the limits for the region of integration after changing the order of integration. Now, the thing is that the resultant, uh, the question arises that whether the result gets changed, no. After changing the order of integration, the result of the integration will remain same and the benefit of changing this order of integration is that we are reducing the complications of the divided region of integration. So, we will take one question, when the region of integration needs to be divided into two parts, if 
it needs to be integrated with respect to one variable and then it can be uh, integrated as one integration if we are considering if we are integrating with respect to another variable so in this portion we have learned that uh, how what is, what is, what are the benefits for changing our order of integration then very important uh, strip method we have uh, learned which is very very useful and which is not explained in many books so uh, you need to do it very carefully two important rules are uh, we need to memorize that first is what we, what is the direction of the strip and with respect to uh, it should be parallel to which axis with respect to x axis or y axis it it uh, made our life very simple this uh, strip method because we many students get so difficulty in finding out the limits when we are having a non rectangular region then we have uh, found out the limits for integration for this uh, after changing this order of integration when the region of integration is being uh, it has been given in form of a non rectangular uh, uh, region of integration and limits are to be written in terms of one variable with respect to another way so we will uh, cover the uh, we will continue with the same uh, example in the next part thank you very much if you would like to read this topic in detail please refer to the book from s chan publishing details of which is given here link is a link of the ebook is given in the description box so uh, if you have liked the video if you have liked the way uh, the concept has been told please like share and subscribe the video share it with your friends press the bell icon so that you would uh, you get a notification as and when next part of this video will be uploaded thank you very much All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.